Hello everybody, Grace Doubles, we're back with more of the long dark in the story mode. And here's the Cave of Solitude. Let's go inside real quick. So, I've seen- oh, hi there, light. Each light source has pros and cons. You may need to improvise light sources to see in the dark. You can craft torches out of available materials. Flares provide a one-off light source. Lanterns last longer, but use up oil. Darkness hides danger and also prevents you from crafting, repairing, and other actions. It sure does. But, got a little bit of light in the beginning over here, and I'm sure- look at this! A young gentleman left us a torch. I was gonna say, a lot of people seem to be enjoying the long dark story mode. I'm really happy about that. I mean, playing it. Resting heals you and saves your progress. Resting restores lost condition and helps you recover from afflictions. You can rest in beds you find as you explore the world. A bedroll allows you to rest whenever you like. Remember that resting uses up calories. And the hours pass make you hungry and thirsty. Resting also saves your game. One of the things I was gonna say is that a lot of my personal friends- Oh wow, crunchy stuff. Stale granola bars. A lot of my real life friends have actually gotten into the long dark now. That is really cool. I'm actually very happy about that, that so many people are playing and having a good time. You guys are gonna have to let me know though. I'm gonna light this up real quick. You guys are gonna have to let me know. Do we stick with the story mode? Should I continue playing it? The only reason I say that is story mode is so much different than Interloper. Now I will say the story mode has been fantastic so far. Everything is just different enough to make it like new and exciting for me. Even coming from Interloper, so I'm really happy about everything I've seen so far. But, a lot of people want to experience the story mode for themselves, and I totally get that. And that makes playing it, and watching it, two completely separate activities. So, if you guys want to do it to it yourselves, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna jive you or anything. You go do it. Um, but in that case, I'll go and stick with the Interloper mode, which we can all enjoy. Interloper being one of those things that's kind of always at least somewhat different. Lost in the storm. What does that have- man, I'm- Ooh, look at the sewing kit! Man, all the kits and stuff look so much better nowadays. Hold on over here. We got some sort of odd item. Uh, where is it over here? It's, it's like a- it's like a journal entry or something, or a page out of a book. There it is! Lost in the storm. A letter found in a discarded backpack. Well, how about examine? I left with the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out at the old church. I kept going, but I think I took a wrong turn. I'll backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. Letter signed Alice. Oh no! That was Alice? Well, I guess Alice was here. Not anymore. Let's get the hell out of here. This is getting a little weird. I think that this is the appropriate way to go, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. Everything's looking so similar. Um, This definitely looks different. And the way that we came. Is that a piece of coal? Ooh. Coal! Very good stuff. Uh, burns for a long time. Burns super hot as well. Only bad portion is, it takes at least 20 minutes for the fire to warm up hot enough for you to utilize the coal. But other than that, use the coal, man! It is pretty damn good. And as a matter of fact, ooh, there's a piece of cloth here if I can grab it. The coal also good for the forge. Over in, uh, over in the... Desolation point, which is what we use to get our tools back on the interloper mode. And here we are! Oh boy. Whoa. There's a wolf right there. How is it gonna introduce us to the wolves, I wonder? Is it gonna have the wolf attack me? Wolves! Avoid it if you can. Wolves are not dogs. They're out there very dangerous. They normally avoid humans, but do you want to take a chance? Most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire. Like most things in nature. Wolves are avoid of fire, campfires, torches, or flares. You keep them at bay. Throwing torches or flares might scare them away. But there's no guarantee, in the end. The best way to avoid tangling with wolves is to give them a wide berth. Remember, they're attracted to blood and raw meat. Okay. Uh, there's not really an opportunity to give this wolf a wide berth. Now, you can crouch a lot of times and kind of skedaddle around wolves this way. Although, I have I have half a mind to take that friggin' deer from him. You know what? Hold on over here. Now, how close can I get to you in the story mode? Wow, you can get real close in the story mode. Part of me wants to tangle with the wolf and grab that meat, but I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna push on. But yeah, two completely different experiences. The, uh, the story mode. Enjoying the story mode. But I do like your guys' feedback, so feel free to let me know. Enough of that BS, though. Let's go as far as we can, even if this is the last episode. Even if you wish to see no more. I will at least try and do as much as I damn well can. Down here, sad looking trees. The temperature dropping very, very rapidly. Ooh. 
Okay. As lost as I thought. Hold on. Real quick. I oh, you know, the long dark. And I don't know because you got to understand as well, this is story mode, so things are a little bit different. In Interloper, well, in any sandbox, the long dark people love hiding crap all the over the place. Freezing. So you can go to the edge of a zone and find just ridiculously good stuff. What's our... Wow, it's like still high noon. I'm really impressed at how kind of shabby it's looking right now. I wonder if the weather's about to change on us. Knowing my luck, it probably will. I wonder if the weather is scripted in the story mode. Now, if you haven't played the sandbox mode, definitely give it a try, though. Search the trunk. Should we find a granola bar? No. Inside of the car, it's usually a little bit warmer. You can also take your torch inside for whatever reason. Cars can serve as shelters, protecting you from the deadly wind and wildlife. You may even find supplies left inside. In the glove compartment or the trunk. Now, back in the olden days, when I say olden days, ooh, Summit Soda. Olden days, I mean the days where we uh, didn't have a story mode. We would always check the visors, and there would never, ever be anything inside. But we would still do it because we're all freaking stubborn. How about the back seat? How are we doing in here? Actually, what's the temperature like in here? Uh, warm bonus protect. Warm up soon. Let's see. Oh, it feels like zero degrees. Well, that's great. Actually, when I say that's great, that's actually horrible. We should eventually probably start a fire because, yeah, we have a lot of frozen items on us. And the only way to unfreeze those is to get a fire and to get things nice and hot. What does that say? Trail. That away. Ooh, it's pointing us that way, but there is a lot of cars and stuff over here. Milton, this yep. way. Ooh. I wonder, can you open... Nope. Could have ended up there. I was going to say, can you open up the... The, um... The hood, but it appears as if though you can't. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I mean, there, there was, there has never been anything in the damn visors for any of us. But it's like you feel, you feel like you have to. I kind of wonder if there's actually anything inside of any of these cars. Uh, nothing so far at all. This trunk is locked, and we don't have anything to open it up with. And now there's a clicky sound inside of the trunk. That's kind of interesting. Oh, all right, rewarded crunchy stuff. We got crunchy stuff, boys. Oh, and trusty matches. Damn. All right, well, I guess it is pretty good to go into the cars. Don't skip the cars, boys. The cars have delicious valuables inside of them. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me about potentially skipping the cars. We got a truck up here as well. Oh, is there a piece of wood in the back there? Yeah, cedar firewood. Hey, like that. A lot of times you can utilize a fire underneath. Ooh, do you hear that haunting sound of the wolf? You can use a fire underneath the hood of a vehicle and it will be fairly well protected by the elements. There's a lot of cars over here. I am, like, very, very surprised. Is there ever anything under the hood? I don't wonder. Back here in this vehicle, should we be rewarded by opening up the glove box? The answer is no. How about the visors? Negatory. Into the... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I was playing... What was I playing where I had to press enter to get out... Or uh, exit to get out of something? I can't remember now. Ooh, decent gloves. Uh, I don't think that these are better than what we have. They are not at all better than what we have, although they are frozen right now. Fleece the crappiest of the mittens you can get. Ooh, ragged leather shoes. Okay, wow, this has been, uh, searching these trunks have been very, very fruitful thus far. Probably gonna need a fire soon. Uh, I am used to skating about as bad as our condition can be, uh, just because most of the time in the interloper you are freezing to death and very sad and regretful about all of your freeziness. And that is kind of happening right now. As a matter of fact, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Why not? Hold on. Let's go in here. We have a ton of wood right now. Let's go in here. I'm going to look real quick. Okay, nothing over there. Nothing over there. How about on the visors? Okay. Let's get out of here. We're going to get to Milton in a second. Open the hood real quick. Right there. A little bit of a fire. You can use accelerant if you want to. 75% chance, huh? All right, let's give it a shot. 75% chance. More like 100% chance for old Gray. There we go. It, worked. it did work, my friend. And now with this, we can use a crap ton of our sticks. Uh, and this ruined torch. Although the ruined torch, I don't think will really do very much at all. How are we looking now? Okay, now we're starting to get warmer. Okay, good. We have some pinnacle peaches if we want to uh, eat up. But right now, I think what we're going to want to do is just get a little bit more water. No reason not to. I always like having more and more and more water on me. Plus, if we're warm, we're fed, and we're not thirsty, we can start getting some condition back. You don't get very much. Uh, you get about 1% an hour, I believe. And right about now, 
is when we're going to need to drink it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and cook up these pinnacle peaches. Yes. Open them up. I think we're smashing them. I'm not 100% sure. Do we even have a can opener on us? I haven't really checked that much. I'm used to having nothing on me, so I really don't know. Over here, dusty pinnacle peaches. All right. Let's go ahead and grab a little snack. Plus, they're uh, nice and uh, nice and hot and delicious over here. Oh, yeah. Warming up, baby. Go ahead and drink our fresh, delicious water that we just made. How is our heat doing? Heat's doing good. Go grab a torch real quick. Uh, light, still doing okay. I want to run this way. I'm very curious about this trail. And I'm very curious about how open-ended your choices are when it comes to some of the exploration. So let's go down this way real fast and just see what there is. Not saying that we're going to find anything amazing down here. Reishi mushrooms. Okay. Rewarded. Rewarded. Reishi mushrooms, very good. Not only do they give you some of a caloric content, but also they're good for uh, medicinal purposes. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of these. I think it takes two to make a reishi tea. Wow. And there is a lot of rose hips down here. Look at this, baby. Now we're here. Now we're right where I want to be. Right in rose hip land. Some of them almost buried by the snow, although I guess that makes sense with all the snowfall that's been happening. Over here looks like potentially even more reishi mushrooms. And what's in this little canyon down here, I do wonder? Perhaps some more, um, perhaps some more cattail stalks? Oh, Gray loves the damn cattail stalks. More and more, I always say. As a matter of fact, I think I'll grab a stick now and again. Let's check this out. Oh, there's a wolf over there. Look at you, Mr. Wolf. All right, Wolfie Wolfenstein. Um, I don't really want to tango with you if I can help it, but ooh. Can we walk across this without falling to our death? I don't know. Hold on. Let's see if I can get up on this way. There we go. Uh, this looks a little harrowing. Like I'm almost clipping on the side of the, of the tree branch right over there, but whatever. Exploration is part of the fun of the long dark. I definitely see cattail stalks down there. Actually, there's quite a, quite a plethora of things down there. Let's continue this way, though, and see what we can find. There's the wolf tracks. See him? See him right there? Oh, the wolf got scared of my fire! Ha! Ha ha ha! That's right, you little jerk! Deal with it! Deal with it! Hold on, we gotta run back to it real quick. There we go. Yes! I hold fire in my hand, wolf! There's nothing you can do against my fire. My fire rule rules your freaking soul. I will, however, grab another torch. And it looks like the weather is taking a turn for the worse. Um, hold on a second. What is down here that is dead? Can we make it down here without dying? Eh. All right. Weather's starting to get kind of bad. The crows just went away, and I want to continue onward to Milton anyway. Let's go ahead and pack it in and keep moving on the roadway. Now, if you stick to the roadway, you do move faster than traveling on the snow. What is that up there? Oh, more old man's beard lichen. Got some stones over here as well. I think I'm gonna grab the lichen. You getting tired on me, brother? Don't you get tired yet. There's plenty more exploring to do. Exploricating. And while we're at the exploricating, let's grab some sticks as we uh, come across a few of them. Not too many. It is gonna give us a lot of burden to just grab everything that we see. But no, I don't want to turn out my damn torch. I want to get more of the lichen. There we go. When we get inside, I think we'll go ahead and prep this into some delicious dressings and really and if you're bad at getting attacked by wildlife having the dressings on you is something that you are really really gonna enjoy more sticks for the stick lords running down the hillside the weather is definitely starting to take a turn for the worse we've got one sad little car over here i almost thought that was a piece of cloth but i guess it's not all right little car what do you have for old gray you have a Summit Soda. All right, I'll take that. Summit Soda, both calories and thirst quenchingly good. Uh, I am a big soda drinker, although my soda of choice is Coke Zero Cherry Flavor. So I don't know what you boys like, but that's my personal favorite. You can sometimes throw this like so. I think we almost hit ourselves in the chiclets with it. I think we're running so fast. We almost took ourselves out. Ooh, there is a lot more reishi mushrooms hidden over here. Actually, there is all kinds of stuff hidden over here. Oh, long dark, you're at it again. You are at it again, and I'm such a fan of you taking the time to put just stuff out of the way. And it's cool, too. I actually really enjoy games like that. I'm a big fan 
of a game saying, you know what, you went out of your way for some stuff, here's a couple of sticks, here's a little bit of uh, rose hips for you, and what the hell, maybe even a fire lock. We are very, very tired though, and we're getting very tired because our stamina itself, or whatever you want to call it, our exhaustion, our awakenedness is starting to take a dive. Milton, how far away are you, man? Been walking on this road for some time. Whoa! Nothing to see here, boys. That bunny just got lit up. Lit up by that wolf. So let's go ahead and not try and tango with yonder wolf because over by the water's edge, we always can find some of these cattail stalks. And <laughs> I know, I know. People that watch me play know I will pick almost every damn cattail stalk I see. Why do you love cattail stalks so much, Gray? First off, they never go bad, or at least they didn't. I'm pretty sure they still don't. They are very light. They give you 150 calories, and their cattail heads can be used as tinder. And they're easy to get. Uh, you don't have to be a good hunter in order to get them. Don't have to be any good with a gun. Don't have to be any good with a stone. 150 calories, nothing to sneeze at. Is that a dead deer over there? That most certainly is. Um, now, I will say, the other thing that is very easy to get is a dead deer. We don't have to do very well to hunt that either. The question is... Is there too much wind to start a fire near that deer? Typically, you do want to start a fire near whatever you're going to be scavenging. Now, when you see an area with a bunch of trees in the middle of a watered area, there's always some good cattail stalks near there. Yep, see like this right over here? And I saw some rose hips as well. Wow! I am so not used to having just this much stuff. And you can see our burden is just absolutely insane right now. Ooh. The weather actually seems like it is uh, starting to pick up. Although, part of me wonders. Part of me says to myself, the game developer wouldn't do that. They wouldn't take a new player to the long dark and subject them to a blizzard, would they? Not that I'm a new player, but it could be anyone playing in my shoes right now. So, a blizzard in the long... If you've never seen a blizzard in the long dark, you are in for a treat. It is every bit as deadly as it should be. It is every bit as horrible as it should be. I love the blizzards in this game. Well, I hate them, but I love them in that they are really cool. They're a really cool addition to the game without, like, having, you know, like, zombies or something try and kill you. Blizzards are the mega zombies of the game, and they will beat your ass. I'm going to go ahead and collect all this real quick. A lot of meat on this creature. A lot of meat on this creature. Um... I mean, I'm going to see if we can start a fire and harvest it. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Four kilograms of meat, boys. I'm going to go ahead and use this coal. Four kilograms of meat. Oh, let's cook this up. Now, I will say, having all this meat on us, a little bit dangerous with all the wolves around. Hold on. Let's go ahead and eat real quick because uh, not raw. We want the we want the cooked one. Where's the cooked one? There it is. 880 calories, baby. Oh, yeah. The venison man cometh. All right, we got to get the hell out of here. Our fire's going down. There's more old man's beard liking over there, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Things are looking uh, pretty craptastic now. It's pretty dark. We're pretty tired. We got a ton of meat. I left the hide and the gut behind. I'm not super worried about it. I have a feeling, and this is just a sneaking suspicion, that we are going to see a lot more guy, gut, hide, and deer in general. Um, we have a little bit of a problem, though. And that is that we're going to need a... We're, we're going to need to find a place to sleep big time because the weather is really starting to pick up and I'm not happy about this and I also can't see crap right now. Low bridge. Just coming across a little bit of destruction over here. All right. Long dark. Give me a house or something. Give me uh give me a structure. Every once in a while I hear sounds that signal almost like there may be a structure around here. Oh, what is that up there? Hold on, I see something up there. Man, there is a lot of zone here that we can check out. But I think for right now, I think for right now, we should probably make a beeline to the first place that we can catch some Z's in. Gray still plays the walking simulator of a lifetime. We found something, boys. That right there is a church. And it's a standing church. I'm used to churches not quite being so good. 
in their condition. But this one, if you can barely see it, there's this. Oh crap! There's a find some water. there's a wolf right there. Hold on. Let me go ahead and walk around this way. Uh oh. All right. Don't want any of it, wolf. Um, there we go. Got some venison for you on the ground. Go ahead and grab it. Don't you kill me. Take the venison instead. Take the venison. You wolven whore. There we go. You can drop decoys, by the way. Decoys are very good, especially when you have, like, excess meat and stuff like we have. Decoys are very good at getting rid of wolves and the like. Oh, my God, the weather. Right when I said that, the weather just stopped. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like, I was like, oh, my God, the weather, and everything got totally fine. I don't know how to feel about this. Let's get inside. Hi there, tombstones of sadness and depravity. Oh, man. Oh, man. Open the door. What should we find inside, I wonder? Wow. I can't see a damn thing. Uh. Okay. That's fine. One of the things that we could do, we could, we could turn on a torch if we wanted to. We could also just sleep. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know what? Hold on. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of drink. Campcraft. Bedroll. Boom shot galaka, and we're gonna go ahead and sleep for the entirety of the night, and that should get us pretty much where we need to be. Um, in the interloper, you can only really sleep 10 hours before you become very, very, very thirsty. I don't know how it is in this mode, so I'm kind of curious to find out. Uh, oh wow, it is still pretty not light in here. Um, all right, well let's uh let's hang out for a little bit then. We can go ahead and pass the time. Ooh. We are super hungry and thirsty, but again, that's fine. First things first, though, what we should have done last time was drink our Summit sodas. Let's pick the worst one off. That's going to give us both food and drink. So there's no reason not to use them, and they're also, like, epically heavy. So it's a good way to get down some of your burden this way. There we go. Okay, now that we've done that a little bit, we can go ahead and we may even be able to sleep a little bit more. Let me see if I can sleep a little bit more, maybe like another hour or two, perhaps. Just because I saw we were not fully rested yet. You can also pass the time. You know, you play some playing cards, some solitaire or something. I don't know what the hell he does. There we go. Now I can see. Pick this up. And, okay. There is no one in here. Cardboard box, huh? Is there anything behind the cardboard box? You can use your hands as well. Sometimes there is. Sometimes there's things hiding. Hiding behind the cardboard boxes. We have a lot of tinder. I really don't need any more. Because, oh, a book. Because, um... We had gotten so many more fleece mittens. We had gotten so many cattail stalks, and all those heads can be used for tinder. Cotton toque! Hold on! This is big. We got Will's hat, but we can suppli supplement. There we go. I almost said supplicant. Supplement it with another cotton toque. And I'm pretty happy about that. I don't know what Will's hat gives us, as a matter of fact. Oh, there is a burned out campfire here, as well as some reclaimed wood. A metal pail? Oh, it requires a hack, uh, hatchet to break down. Or a hacksaw. I'm sorry. Jeez, a hacksaw. Great. What are you thinking about? Very interesting. Chair. Another book. Another book. Uh, pastor's note. We will check that out in just a second. Is there like a cupboard here or something? I almost thought there was like a cupboard. Usually you can break down wooden stuff like this to get reclaimed wood. And we could, should we want to. Oh, there's a bed here. All right. Bottle of water. More newsprint. More books. A flare. Another book. Wow, there is just a, like, metric ton of crap here. An organ? A pillow? Oh, we can get the pillow up for some, uh, some cloth. A granola bar hiding down there. You can't fool me, granola bar. I'm gonna eat you so slow, you won't even know. A hymnal. Wood matches. And a go. ton of books. Like, a ton of books. And more cloth. All right. Let's, um, let's go into our inventory real fast over here. Go down to all these notes. Uh, Lost in the Storm. Did we read this yet? Oh, that's Alice. Okay. Uh, hymnal. Lyrics to the hymn. Oh. Alright. Well, that's not a big deal. Anything else? A note to the congregation of St. Christopher's Parish. Alright. Oh my god, we're carrying a lot of stuff. I need to start leaving stuff behind. Because we have so much stuff on us. Uh, over here. What should it say? Pastor's note. Examine. It is with a heavy heart that I inform you of the Archdiocese decision to withdraw me from St. Christopher's Parish due to lack of activity. Though there has never been more 
than a few of you in recent years. Your dedication to the church and the support of my efforts here shall not be forgotten. Henceforth, services will be available via Skype. <laughs> Continue Latin lessons also. Please accept my apologies. God bless. Father Francis McGill. Skype. You boys can go on Skype. Learn your learn your hymnals that way and there have you. All right. Cardboard box under there. Um, you know what? What the hell? Hold on. Let me cut this. I'm kind of wonder if something majestic will appear out of nowhere. It does not. Uh, you can usually also break down these shelves if you have hatchets, which we don't. All right. I've seen and heard enough. Let's uh, let's grab ourselves a little bit of food. Let's grab what is the most beat up thing we have? Granola bar. Let's eat the granola bar. Probably the beef jerky as well. I'm gonna be eating a lot more than I normally do in the antelopers. So just. You guys that watch that, this is going to be completely different. We need to keep some of this down. And look at this. Hold on. Look at this real quick. Let's go over here. Uh, not that. Holy God. Over here. 41 cattail stocks. 150 calories each. That's what I like to see. More stale beef jerky. Beef jerky typically uh, is the, the thing that keeps the longest. What I mean by that is even when you think it's bad, it's usually not. We do have another soda I should have drank. That's fine, though. All right. That helped a little bit with our burden, I imagine. And if there's anything else in here, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Let's get out and keep moving down the roadway. So this was just like a little... Oh, piece of cloth. Oh, it's a lot of cloth. Oh, you know what we can do while we're here? Just thought about it. Hold on. While we're here and it's light outside and it's nice inside, we need to start repairing our clothing. Because we do have a sewing kit and we have a lot of clothing that is just beat to hell. Look at all this stuff. Beat. Beat everywhere. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you guys too. Six and two. That's what our bonus is. Let's see what we get when I'm done repairing everything. All right, I ran out of materials for right now. From six and two to nine and three. Pretty damn good, I'd say. As a matter of fact, I think there's a pillow over here that we can cut up for a little bit of more cloth. Yeah, there is. All right, let me repair a little bit more. All right, ended up at nine and three. We repaired everything that actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, I didn't drink the soda again. Let's get the hell out of here and keep running down the roadway. It sounds okay outside. Our pack is quite heavy right now, which is regrettable. The church looks like it could be a good shelter. Uh, we're at the church, my man. <laughs> oh! Penis! Alright. You, uh, you keep doing what you do, Wolf. I just wanted to check this car out. Can I check the car out, Wolf? Is that okay? Is it okay if I check the car out? Oh, there's so many cattail stalks. I'm gonna leave some of them mine. We don't need that many cattail stalks. Suck on my wiener, wolf! Got ourselves a flare. Got ourselves a secondary flare. Holy crap. That wolf is all over us right now. Look at him. He is so pissed off. All right. Over here, nothing in the visor. Nothing in the secondary visor. The wolf should not care about us over here. I'm actually very surprised because we are in we are in the, the car and it still wanted a piece of us. All right, there you go. Search the trunk. Yes. Good. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Wow! Flares for days, boys! Flares for days. Now, which... Which way did I come from, I'm trying to remember? I think I came... Think about this for a second. I think I came that way. Nope! I was wrong! Went the wrong way. No big deal! Gray still doesn't know where the hell he's going. No, nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing unusual. You can see here, too, thanks to our newly repaired clothing, we are gaining warmth outside right now. How crazy is that? That's so cool. Uh, what else do I have over here that I can eat? You know what? I'm just going to eat this venison. It is a huge chunk of meat, and it's just better not to have any meat on us for right now. Like I said, I have... Oh, there are some live stags over here. I have a ton of cattail stalks on me. So, yes, Gray's going to pass by some cattail stalks. Don't hate me for it. Oh, there is a deer over here as well. I knew there would be deer all over the place, man. But I want to keep moving. I want to keep moving to show you guys what's going on. We're going to leave that deer behind. All right. We got some vehicles laying around over here. You never know. We also have a wolf that is, like, right there. Like, right there. We have a ton of flares, though. So it's not actually a big deal. In fact, if we wanted to, we could probably even use our flare and get rid of that wolf that's chowing down on yonder deer over there. But I'm not... I ain't worried. I ain't scared. Well, we're going to be just fine. Just fine. Yeah, you suck on it, Wolf. You keep dealing. Hold on. Let me get down low. Get down low! So that we can get this car over here. Actually, as long as that wolf doesn't turn around, we're going to be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Can't get into that trunk. No big deal. 
Over here? Nope, nothing of interest. In the- ooh, that- that wolf is actually heading right this way. Hell, how unlucky is that? Inside the glove compartment. Man, we have not been getting lucky inside of the- Hi, wolf! So, if you guys ever wanted to see a wolf up close, there it is. There she is. Right there. Wow. Whoa! You want it! You want it, wolf! You got it, boy! You got it! You wanted to get stabbicated, and now you freaking know what time it is. Well, we just got attacked by a wolf. How do you like that BS? That wolf will eventually bleed to death and die, because we shivved it. Uh, our mittens also wore out, which is fine, because we happen to have- You gotta be kidding me, these are actually slightly better. Can't believe that, a bunch of holy gloves are better than the mittens, although the mittens are in bad condition. So there is that, let's keep searching as attacticated as we are. We just got some bruising, so it's really not that bad. Is there something laying on the ground over here? Nope. There's like something coming through the car. That's very interesting. I don't know what to think about that. You know what? Hold on. I can't open that. I was gonna say, maybe I wanted to, uh, can we break these down? Eh, we need a hatchet for it. Maybe I could go into the hood and see if there's anything there. But it doesn't look like I can. There are some reishi mushrooms over here, though. Which, for all the times that I may or may not be getting attacked by wolves, is probably good to have on us. We have discovered the wolf lot! <laughs> the wolf lot. The wood lot! You can tell I have canines on the brain right now, after subsequently getting attacked. And that wolf is still going absolutely ballistic down there! More cattail stalks. Oh, developer, I love you so much! You put so many cattail stalks that you make Gray happy. Very happy. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna prepare a flare. That rhymed. Unintentionally. Just in case. And the music begins to play. Because the game wants to slay Gray. This is the- Huh? Anyone out there? Oh, that's us yelling. I think. Ah! Achievement! Paradise! Okay. When I- When I meet some- Oh, hold on. Totally forgot about this. I wanted to do this for you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Subtitles are on at the end of the episode, but I got it now. Maybe we'll see some, uh, maybe we'll see some talking. You never know. Is this all boarded up? It sure is. This is not what Gray wanted to see. I would have much preferred, like, some buildings I could legit go into. Uh, we have some newspaper rolls. Smoke from the- Ooh, smoke from the chimney. All right, hold on. We're gonna go check it out right now, buddy. I'm gonna open the hood. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't, don't use that yet. Okay. Open the hood. Now sometimes, yep, smoke from the chimney, right there. Newspaper roll. I was gonna say, every once in a while you can find stuff inside of the, um, inside of the mailboxes. There's some, man, there's another dead deer over there. It's like a dead deer paradise, that's what I'm talking about. How about inside the trunk? No reason not to look. Ooh, the haunting whale. Howl of the wolves. I see a, some beef jerky down here and a note. Betrayal. Betrayal. Ooh. I don't, well, I don't like the sound of that, but it sounds pretty cool. How many times? Oh, is there something laying on the, no. Okay. How many times can Gray, you know what? I'm going to put it away. I was going to say, how many times can Gray almost open up his friggin' uh, flare? The answer is all the times. In here, nothing in the glove box. All right. Man, this town looks like it holds a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, credit union. You can go in here? Oh, there's a note on the door, too. Wow. Holy crap. Look at all this, boys. Oh, my God. There is a ton of stuff in here. Look at this. There's stuff under there. Stuff over here. Cardboard box. We got a Summit Soda. The Canadian flag. That's what I'm talking about. More newspaper, although we can't pick it up. Stack of papers. Cardboard box. Chairs, as you need. Over here in the candy machine, no candy. No more cash! No more cash, boys. Go take your gaming elsewhere. Now, usually there's some drawers in places like these. And there are! I see another soda! As well as some crunchy stuff. You can never have enough crunchy stuff. Key to the bank manager's house. Ah! The key to the bank manager's house. Very cool. That may be some place that we can explore. Also, orange soda. So let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, you know what? I'm not, I am not at all checking as hard as I normally would. 
honestly, I we really don't need to. Like, th it's wow. Really useful. There is so much stuff around here that I really don't think that we have to, like, kill ourselves to find every single item that we possibly can. We can't carry every single item that we possibly can get. Over here, we have a chair, right? Radi- Huh? Oh, it was an echo. I was like, did that almost work? It almost sounded like it worked. Ooh, look at that. What is a floppy disk? Who's using floppy disks? What year is this? Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Over here, another soda. Can't lie to me, Summit Soda. Oh, we have lockers. Sometimes the lockers contain various delicious goods, such as Summit Sodas. And some other times you can find potable water inside of the toilet. Yes, toilet water, as well as some antibiotics on that shelf. Toilet water, folks. It's a real thing, and it could save your life. Right there. Look at all that delicious toilet water. That's water that we don't have to spend time boiling down. So that is a thing. All right. What we're going to do, we've been playing for a while, and I do want to do it. So hold on here. Let's, uh, what's the worst thing that we have off this beef jerky? I'm going to go ahead and eat that. Beef jerky does take down your uh, drink a little bit. So something to note. I see another stack of papers. We probably don't need all these papers over here. Oh my god, there's more lockers and stuff. All right. Uh, let's rifle through this stuff real quick. If I find a rifle, that's gonna be really funny. Uh, I think I see a- is that a can of something over there on the bottom right of the screen right now? Well, now the middle, right? Or is that just a rusty pail? Tin of coffee! Right there! Oh, cup of coffee. God, I love coffee. You got- you have no idea. Oh, a bank vault. Holy crap. Like, a legitimate bank vault. What could be inside of the secret bank vault? I don't know. Search register. Huh. What would you find inside of a register? Chocolate bar! That's amazing! Chocolate bar inside of a register, I guess. Alright. You keep your chocolate bars wherever you want. Another stack of papers. Another locker. Now, these things over here, you can find... Locked. Locked. Can't, Can't get, get in. in here yet. Now this, you can tumble yourself by going uh, right, left, right. I'm gonna go find out the code and I'll be back with you guys in a second. Alright, we got it! What's our reward? For all that hard work. Some papers, a book, a cash. Useful for Tinder. More cash, more cash, a lot of cash. Okay, all the cash. All right, let's get out of here and go check out that one house real quick. I know there's probably stuff I'm missing, but we gotta we gotta check out that house. I'm really curious about it. All right, boys, here we go. The one lived in house. What should we find? What, should, what are these? Oh, they're all dead plants. Is this a searchable container? Firewood, firewood bin. There's nothing inside. All right. Let's go inside and see what we see. Anyone home? Anyone? Hello? Oh, cutscene. Anybody here? Holy sh! Wait! Hold your fire! Come closer, stranger. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. Why are you here? I saw the smoke from your chimney. Mainlander? Uh, what? <laughs> Thought so. Mainlander. Outsider. I don't recognize your voice. And you haven't left like the other cowards, so... Must be a Mainlander. Someone who doesn't know any better. Uh, my plane. I, I crash in the mountains nearby. <laughs> Sounds likely. Listen, could you maybe point that gun somewhere else? You think because my eyes are covered, I can't see you? Make the wrong move. Say the wrong thing. You'll see how good a shot I am. I don't doubt it. The others all gone. If you're here, things must be worse than they thought. Oh, choices. Others. Where am I? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, my name's Mackenzie, and you are? The liars call me Grey Mother. Now that is an appropriate name. Ten points. So I should, you should call me Grey Mother also. All right, thanks. Right. So if everyone left, why are you still here? They're afraid of me, and even if I could have left, I wouldn't. I was born here. I'll die here. 
This is the way it has to be. The way it has to be? You wouldn't understand loyalty, mainlander! Alright. Others. You said everyone's gone. What happened here? Five days since the lights in the sky, five days of hell. First they thought they'd be safe, and then they realized they weren't ready for the end, so they fled. None of them will make it. How do you know? I mean, you can't- See? No, I can't. But I know what I hear. Sooner or later, all their words, all their lies find their way up to me. Then where am I? What is this place, this town? This is Milton, small town in the mountains. You're far from home. But where are we on Great Bear? My plane went down in bad weather, and you're wherever you're supposed to be, outsider. The maker in his great wisdom has put you here with me. But what is his purpose? There's some Skyrim stuff going on here. What is yours? I'm looking for someone. She crashed with me, but I think she walked out. Would have been when the lights first appeared. Not quite interested in your story, outsider. I'm cold. Prove your worth to me, and I'll think about telling you what I know. My fire will be out soon. Fetch me some firewood. And then maybe we'll talk more. Uh, and then more? Fuel house finished. More? House. The big house. You live here by yourself? None of your business, outsider. Just stay out of my private things and don't try to steal from me, or you'll never know what... You never find out what I know about your friend. Okay, and then fuel. So fuel, where can I find some? Surely a big strapping man like you can find some firewood in a forest. Right. Take the axe in the woodshed out back if you must. I know some of the townsfolk cut wood at the edge of town. I'll be back. Finished. Come back when you've sorted out my firewood situation if you come back at all. Thanks, lady. Trust. It's a hard thing to come by these days. Many people you meet, many people you meet will be suspicious of you. Most of them have needs that may not be able to fulfill without your help. Helping them will earn you trust, which will in turn unlock useful knowledge, location, items, and more. Check the character's trust entry in your journal to learn more about them, their needs, and how they can help you. All right. There we go, boys. We met Grey Mother. We're in the Milton house. We got to earn her trust. Hope you guys are enjoying the long dark on the story mode. Remember to feel free to let me know if you want to continue to see more of this. Like I said, I have no doubt that a lot of people are kind of kind of want to enjoy it by their by their lonesome. But if so, I'm more than happy to play it. I love this game. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.